Jake here from Salvage to Scenic, and over the next couple days, we're driving out into the desert to attend the world's largest off-road event, camping out, ripping some fun toys, watching some crazy rock crawling, and I'm so excited you're along for the adventure. I think we made it to the right place. Oh yeah, we're definitely in the right place. <laughs> Howdy, I think I, oh, there you are. <laughs> Been here for all of five minutes and Harry just handed me the keys to this bad boy right here, the famous pink pig. I'm gonna pull these things outside to get a closer look at them. <laughs> All right, we got the toys outside here. We got the man himself, Harry. Hey. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself um, and, and what okay. you get up to? My name's Harrison. Uh, I drive and modify Porsche Cayennes and now live out of this uh, Mercedes Unimog that you see behind me. Before that, I lived out of this Porsche Cayenne for about a year and a half and another Cayenne right before that for about a year. So two and a half total, kind of out of necessity. I didn't really have like a solid job was just doing separate little things and didn't think I was like, imp like rentable to anyone, so I couldn't really get a new lease from the place that I was at. Moved into that, started making videos, and that turned into like several more Cayennes. Right now I'm in the process of building like four separate ones, so that one, that one's getting wheels and tires and stuff soon. And then I've got two more over there, kind of behind the truck that you see. The pink one, and then another one far away, and the Unimog, so those are all my projects. I'm hoping to downsize before I drive this thing to South America next year. So this right here, this one and the pink one are my favorite. This one's a Cayenne S, so it's a naturally aspirated 4.8 liter, 400 horsepower V8 uh, on coil spring suspension, beadlocks, rally style front bumper, rally style rear bumper. And this one is a blast in almost every situation. I don't have to worry about it breaking too often because there's not many things that can go wrong on it, even though it's a Porsche. The pink one. The pink one. What do you <laughs> think? Is this one the most famous? Um, I don't know. A lot of people know this one just because I put it into the ditch. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people know that it's like fixed now. <laughs> Um, so that happened a year ago, put it into a ditch and like restored it, rebuilt it over the past year, which cost me a lot of money because I was really dumb and didn't have insurance on the car. <laughs> it's got the pink pig livery, which is like a 1971 Porsche 917 Le Mans winning race livery. I decided it worked well on the, on the Cayenne because everyone calls it a pig. Beadlock wheels, air suspension still, Baja style front bumper, roof rack, rum storage cases, and a snowboard holder on the right side. So this one's fun. It's like 600 horsepower and it'll blast anywhere and everywhere, and it's so much fun. And this one is my 1985 Mercedes-Benz Unimog U1300L. I bought it from an 82-year-old man who built it over the last 20 years. Started when he was like 65, it's crazy. He was a hot rod builder and made the whole thing himself. He had the aluminum structure for the truck, like TIG welded, he had a cabinet maker, he had everything reupholstered, he raised the roof of the cab to accommodate for holding the spare tire up there. There's also a crane that attaches to the exhaust that brings the spare tire down. I'm putting solar on it. I've changed the wheels and tires. And uh, this is my home on wheels for the next whoever knows how long. The looks are just crazy. Oh yeah. The other drivers. Everyone's like, what the hell is this military truck doing? What the hell is even that? <laughs> so it's an eight speed manual, but you've got this clip for overdrive. Okay. So you can split every gear. And then if I wanted to throw it in reverse, I have all those gears backwards too. No way. Like I'd have never gone more than in third gear backwards, but if you wanted to, you could. All right, you ready? Uh, as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> uh, make sure the mirrors are good too. Oh yeah. We're in forward, start in third. Start, start in third. Start in third. All right. Let's go, we didn't stall. Sick. <laughs> It's like a semi. Dude. 
<laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Am I going right? Yeah, you're gonna go right. Oh yeah. Two hands on the wheel for this bumpy. <laughs> straight back to sixth? Yeah, straight back sixth. You can also shift at like 2,500 RPM. Okay. Damn, dude. This is so wild. <laughs> oh, watch out for the branches. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that is totally my bad. <laughs> Usually they're high enough. Uh, is it on any sort of suspension? Like, no, um, it's like the stock shocks from 85. I'm going to change them soon, but I know some of those shock bolts are seized. And I don't know if there's replacement bolts big enough um, at nearby hardware stores. OK. Yep, and then go to third, and then reverse. There's that, you right can there. right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call that good. Back and forward, and to shut it off. Fuel shut off, and then we're gonna put on the air brake right here. And then key, and then we're gonna shut off power. Wow. But it's a process. That's a process. <laughs> Holy smokes, thanks for letting me Sick. drive it, dude. Of course, dude. Well, it was a dream come true meeting Harry and unexpectedly driving the Unimog a few days ago. I continued south, stopping through Vegas on the way. Never been there before. Pretty sure I never need to go back. That place was absolute chaos. I witnessed more car crashes in 30 minutes than I have in my whole life. Eventually, I passed through the beautiful little town of Lucerne Valley and arrived here in Hammertown, California for the annual King of the Hammers event. I passed some crazy rigs on the way out here, which we'll definitely take a closer look at tomorrow. And I attempted this crazy steep sandy hill climb over here, not once, not twice, but three times unsuccessfully. And finally came to terms with coming to a little bit lower spot over here. And I was super stoked with the view once I got up here. I'm still enjoying it right now, looking over this small city of probably 2,000 campers down there. It's hard to fathom how many people are camped out here right now at once. I managed to sneak in a little dirt bike ride just as the sun was setting, which is beautiful. And I just cooked up dinner out of the back of the truck here. And we should see Harry climbing up the hill here in the Unimog real shortly, as long as he can make it out here. Come on in, dude. Morning. <laughs> Breakfast in the mug for the first time. <laughs> Pancakes, eggs, even though we both made eggs. <laughs> yeah, we had a little miscommunication about the eggs, but oh, well. we're loaded up for the day now. Alrighty, well, we ended up relocating to a different spot. Didn't want to risk getting the Unimog stuck trying to get up to that spot, but we still had an awesome night meeting up with some of Harry's buddies and watching some epic crawling go down on Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> Absolute mayhem. I had no idea what I was signing up for coming here. Slept in a little bit, had a slow morning, cooking a nice big breakfast. Had the pleasure of eating breakfast in a Unimog for the first time today. Thank you, Harry, for inviting me inside out of the wind and the sand. <laughs> we just packed up camp and we're now headed down to Hammertown where all the vendors and crazy custom builds have their tents set up. So we're gonna make our way down there and check out some cool stuff.
that's a sweet Bronco right there, man. And this thing has loads of ground clearance, holy. Bulletproof axles. Rear steer, too. It's very similar to the, the rig we saw dominating last night. Free ice cream at 3 p.m. We should probably take advantage of that. <laughs> Thing is sick. What? There's Ethan's bike. <laughs> it's quite literally an engine and two big wheels. <laughs> Such a crazy idea. Add some perspective to how big this thing is. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Love me some RC cars. Ah, oh. dude. The fun haver. <laughs> what a clean interior too. Yeah. Yeah, look at the shocks too. Yeah, holy. This is like a half million dollar car. Dude. At least. The tacos much much younger, but more advanced brother. And this thing is absolutely nuts. Apparently it's got a track system underneath. <laughs> to help it move over obstacles if it gets stuck on a rock. Just gnarly. Just had an awesome time meeting a bunch of really cool people, seeing a lot of really cool rigs. It was really cool to see a lot of the builds that I've seen online and, and dreamed of seeing in person and meeting the people who built those crazy contraptions. Feels good to be back in the rig. Ethan from Grind Hard Plumbing Co. actually told us that there's a monster truck going over here to Chocolate Thunder, that crazy rocky hill climb that we were hanging out at watching people rock crawl last night. So we're making our way over here and uh, hopefully gonna see a monster truck. <laughs> That's a big heifer right there. And that's where, that's where our guy sits. He doesn't even see out the front. He sees through plexiglass windows down at the tires. did end up seeing a monster truck last night. That monster truck didn't end up going through with what he said he was gonna do, which is fair enough. I looked at that hill climb and I was like, there's no way a monster truck's making it up this. But we ended up camping out down here in the pits and, and campground area where Harry's friends have a couple campgrounds reserved. So we were able to camp out here, which definitely was a bit noisier. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear with the mic, but it's it's chaos down here. 
Um, but still managed to get a pretty decent sleep. There go some kiddos. And we have a little bit of a surprise today. Connor Goldner should be showing up in his Honda Pilot all the way from Salt Lake. So I'm really excited to see him and see his reaction to this chaos. Well, change of plan on the eggs. Harry just popped his head out. He said he's already got eggs and bacon cooking up, so we don't have to worry about that. Probably gonna heat up a bagel and pull some frozen burgers out of the freezer to get those things defrosting for tonight. Thank you for chefing up. This looks fire. You're welcome. All right. See you later. That sucks. <laughs> Dad! Ah! <laughs> What's going on, bro? Dude, thanks for securing this spot for us. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, we we owe the thank you to those guys. That's Harry's friends over there. Uh, it's, it's uh, it's right. It's just weird. All right, just cranked out some editing. Connor's up from his nap, but uh, Grant's still sound asleep over there, sleeping beauty. So we're gonna go wake him up. Yeah. <laughs> Rise and shine. <laughs> oh boy is right. <laughs> Cheers boys. Hey buddy. Yes sir. There you go, sir. Sick dude, thank you. Got the pickles? Mog pickles. Mog pickles. Got us covered. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Like, this is one of the coolest events I think in the whole entire United States. Keep it up, Hammer Sound. We hear you guys are doing amazing. Pass out for the races today. But yeah, oh, you see, know, man. It comes with the drawer already built in. Comes with an eight gallon water tank. Does it come with a U Haul hitch? No. <laughs> We're talking about. Oh. Damn. Didn't think we'd be in the back of a Tundra making our way over to the back door tonight, but here we are. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. We got Connor and Grant behind us in the Jeep. Good morning, people. It's the next morning, about eight o'clock. Running on about six hours right now, maybe five hours. Feeling a little rough, but last night was epic. Tons of fun showing Connor and Grant around. It was also really cool to see Sublime perform unexpectedly. It was a really cool surprise. And even cooler than that was meeting Justin from Donut Media, one of my favorite automotive YouTube channels. Anyhow, it's now 8.01 and I gotta be dressed and ready to leave here in nine minutes because allegedly Can-Am has a bunch of Pro-R test vehicles that we can go rip. <laughs> Come on, princess. <laughs> Let's get this party started. That ought to do the trick, huh? Yeah. They've got a ton of sick 
Pro R's over there that we're gonna get to rip later today. We locked in a 130 time slot, so got a couple hours to go. Lori's gonna cook up breakfast, get some fuel in the tank, and uh, probably go for a little dirt bike ride after breakfast. Then we'll rip some cannons this afternoon. I think that would be a fun climb right there. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> Oh boy, I have a feeling this is going to be a lot steeper than it looks like from down here. not making it up that. This is some real loose sand. This guy's sending it. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, we made it. Let's go. Dang. That's a sick view. Probably a better view over here. Oh yeah. This is what we were looking for right here. Wow. That's epic. Grab our picture and head down there. We need to go that way. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we're low on fuel, so. It's good timing. Down we go. Alright. We gotta rip it back to get back in time for these Can-Ams. Gotta have to head on a swivel because there's maniacs ripping all over this place. Alright, we made it back to Hammertown. Now we just gotta make it back to camp. Hallelujah, we made it. Out there, there's barely any dust at all. It's pretty late. Let's go, baby. Might as well throw her in Sport Plus right off the bat. Folks, we had an awesome time shredding it up on those Can-Am Pro R's. After ripping it up in those, Connor and Grant went off to do some photography and Harry and I went back to the pits to check out some more builds and catch just a little bit of the tail end of one of the races today. Harry's friend Dave invited us out to do a little crawling trail, which turned out to be a gnarly crawling trail over and through some crazy boulders and stuff I didn't think I would be cruising through in a forerunner. We just packed up our camp down in the pits there and we're now making our way across the desert over to another campsite called Olaf. Um, sounds like it's a little bit more secluded place, be a little bit quieter. 
we should be able to catch up on our sleep. Anyhow, excited to go check out a new spot, and we got something pretty exciting on the menu tonight. Jeez, we made it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. That little bag is what we got to run with. I did the same thing with my porch. I'm probably not qualified to be cooking these. Is that pan clean? Let's get these steaks on there and let's get eating. Sony A7 IV. Ideally, I'd have a Sony A7 IV. Boys, we got steaks and beef mac out in the middle of the desert. We're eating good tonight. Good morning, people. Yet another fun night at Hammers. A lot quieter out here in Olaf, which is nice. No monster trucks or ATVs or dirt bikes flying by at one in the morning. That was by far the best dinner we've had here yet. Definitely gonna need to double down on the vegetables after this trip. I also need to double down on the editing today because it's Saturday and I'm trying to stick to videos every Sunday. There's some cool tents. All right, the boys just had a nice peaceful Sunday, camped out at Olaf, escaped a little bit of the chaos, but still got to see a lot of the action because we were camped out right next to the race course and good to get some work done. We're now making our way back out of the desert. We've probably got about seven miles to go. Real dry today, dust is flying everywhere. <laughs> Grant's in the Jeep, Connor's ripping the Honda Pilot like nobody's business, and Harry's leading the way in the Mog. We should all make it out of here in one piece. <laughs> Well, sadly, Connor and Grant had to split off and head home. Connor gave me a sweet print of the taco to hang up in here. Thank you, Connor. Now we're meeting up with Harry's friend who has a sick Audi all-road on some off-road tires and might be lifted. It's beautiful lighting right now, so we're gonna grab some photos. Anyways, that was King of the Hammers 2024. Absolutely wild first time coming out here. Huge shout out to Harry for inviting me down and introducing me to a bunch of awesome folks. If you're interested in more Unmog Madness, be sure to check out Harry's channel at Harry Schoen. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had fun. And until next time, keep making the most of it.